Hello, and welcome to an overview of the PDS Witzmail Studio Storelink. Storelink is an Excel plugin to allow users to connect and consume Witzmail data. It is built on top of PDS's open source codebase. Storelink was designed for engineers and users that needed to quickly consume Witzmail data to possibly test out a new algorithm or to investigate a particular area of the wellbore. We chose Excel as it is one of the most popular and powerful spreadsheet applications. Let's start by selecting the PDS Witzmail Studio on the Excel ribbon. When selecting the plugin, it will automatically use your last Witzmail connection and fetch all the wells. On the ribbon, we have buttons to show and hide the hierarchy, create templates, and fetch Witzmail data. Note that any of the topics not covered by this video can be found here in the documentation. To the right we see a familiar pane, as it is the same that is used on Witzmail Studio Desktop. Also, your connections from desktop will be available here. If there are a lot of wells on your server, you can use the well or rig name filter to narrow down what is being displayed. Note that one of the wells has a green indicator. This indicates that one of the wellbores has recently received new data. Let's filter down to that well and explore its contents. By expanding the well, we see all the wellbores underneath it. Under the wellbore, we have a folder for logs. Under logs, we have folders for time, depth, or all. Let's look at depth logs. By selecting and right clicking on the log, we access the same functionality that is available on the store link ribbon. For now, we will get the header of all the channels by selecting Get Header, Auto Detect Channels. Auto Detect uses the channels from the worksheet, and if not present, it will use all of the channels in the log. The contents of the log will be written to the worksheet. If needed, adjustments to the start, the end index, as well as the max data rows can be made before requesting data. Let's start by requesting data from 0 to 200 feet. By adjusting this and then doing Get Data Range, Out of Detect Channels, it will use the channels defined on row 14 to go and fetch all the data from 0 to 200 feet. Note that it will repeat fetching data until it has completed the full range. Let's see all the data. Since this log had a green indicator, it means that it's currently growing. Using a pin data one time, it will fetch the next 10,000 rows of it. Now, as it is a growing log, if we want to continuously fetch new data, we can adjust our append interval to the amount of time to wait between queries, let's say 30 seconds, and select append data, continuous. Then we'll wait for the duration of the interval, then fetch the next 10,000 rows. Note, at any time, we can stop the continuous by clicking the stop button. Great. Now we have the data to 454.7 feet. Let's stop the continuous job. Our first workflow demonstrated fetching the header for a log and then getting data. Storelink also allows you to get data straight from the hierarchy. By selecting the death log, right-clicking, Get Data Range, Auto Detect Channels. We are prompted for what to do with the existing data. We could overwrite, create new sheet, or cancel. Let's create a new sheet. From here, the header is copied over automatically, and then it will fetch all the data from 0 to 468.2 feet.
Okay, I think we have all our data. And there we go, we have data down to 468.2 feet. Sometimes logs can contain hundreds of channels, and you might only be concerned with a few of them. For that, we recommend using our Select Channels option. Let's do that now by doing Git Header, Select Channels, and let's go ahead and create a new sheet again. As it copied over the header, which shows all the selected channels, let's click this to deselect them all and pick out a few channels that we are concerned with. By double clicking or selecting and clicking this button, we can pick and choose which channels will be queried. There. If you want to change the order, select the channel and click the up or down arrows to adjust where its position is. Okay, let's fetch data for this. Since this was a Git header, only the header was retrieved and written to the worksheet. To get data, you can click the Get Data Range button. And now you have all the data for those selected channels. Lastly, we're going to go over creating a template. Templates are useful when you know exactly what channels you want, and they're consistently named across logs, and those logs share a common name. We're going to create a template for a time log and demonstrate how it can be used and reused to fetch data from a WITSML server. Let's create a new worksheet. From the ribbon, we're going to select Query Template and Log. Let's manually enter channels. We'll specify six channels. From here, it'll allow us to populate the parameters to be used in the template. Note, the first mnemonic needs to be the time index. Let's see what time logs are here. Okay, we have two time logs, both sharing the same name. By expanding that, we will see which channels are underneath it. Let's go and pick a few of these channels to be used on our template. For the log name, we will use time log. Okay, we've got a template now. This could be saved and reused each time the user wants to fetch data for a time log. But for now, we're just going to use this template to see if there's any logs that match it on the server. From the ribbon, we're going to do git header, worksheet channels, Store link will go out and find all logs that match our criteria. Here we can see that it found two logs matching time log. Let's select the second one since it has the most recent data. And the information for that time log will be populated here. Next, we could get data for this log. That's all for the WITSML Studio StoreLink Excel plugin. Thanks for watching. Please hit the thumbs up if you liked what you've seen, and click subscribe to receive updates as we publish new videos on our other products.